In this video, we'll be going over maximum subarray. So we're given integer array nums. Find a contiguous subarray containing at least one number, which are the larger sum and return as sum. So we are given input array nums and our output is equal to six because the contiguous subarray, which has the larger sum, is four, negative one, two, and one, which has a sum of six. Let's go do the dot process. So for each of the number x, inside the input array, we have two choices. We can add x to the current running sum or start a new running sum with x. When should we start a new running sum? Sum with x. When our current running sum is a negative value, we should start a new subarray. This is because x plus negative value will only lower the value of x. So we should just start a new subarray of x. We will return the contiguous subarray which contain the highest sum. Now let's go do a pseudocode. So create two variables. Sum the current running sum. Initially zero. And max sum. The maximum subarray sum. So initially integer dot min value. So the smallest value possible. So we iterate through the input array or iterate through the elements of nums denoted as num. If sum is less than zero, we want to reset sum to zero. This means this means we are starting a new subarray. New subarray with num. Increment sum by the current element. Then we will update max sum if sum is greater. Then we will return max sum. Let's go through time and space complexity. So our time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of the input array. So we visit each element once, and our space complexity is equal to O of 1, because we did not create a new data structure. So let's go do the code, create our sum and max sum variables. Then we're iterate through the elements of the input array. Reset sum if sum is less than zero. So plus num plus the current elements. And then max sum. Update max sum if the current sum is greater. And then we return max sum. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.